Brandy Batone was 34 weeks along when she alone took the high occupancy vehicle or HOV lane on Highway 75 in Dallas County. When pulled over by a DPS officer and asked who else is in the car. I was like, oh, this. <laughs> I was like, right here, here she is. And he just kind of looked at me like, uh, do, how do I answer this? Brandy in the moment wasn't trying to take a stand, only trying to fight a ticket. For context, Roe v. Wade had just been overturned, and Texas has an impending ban on abortions. She oh. felt it right to think the child she's carrying is a passenger. One law saying that it's a baby, and now he's telling me that this baby that's jabbing my ribs is not a baby. Um, how, like, why can't we, why can't it all make sense? The officer wasn't buying it. Brandy got a $275 Ooh. ticket for an HOV violation. Single and occupant. And it's two people outside of the body, which, weird way of wording it. Text dots two people outside of the body. It's <laughs> simply a vehicle occupied by two or more people. Even the officer admitted she could fight it. Hundreds, thousands of people on social media feel that too. Just the outpour of support from, gosh, women all over the world. All sorts of emotions. I'm trying to obviously keep my blood pressure down. Let's not go into labor yet. Brandy says she's taking a neutral stance politically. In the last two days, she's heard from both sides of the abortion debate. What she will she's say a looker. is this. If there's a pro-women <laughs> category, that's, I, that's, that's my stance. Now at 36 weeks along, she has hired an attorney and has a court date in late July. Somebody that shot is, that club up. They was not wasting In Collin County, I'm Joe. Hey, shout out to Texas, man. Y'all are some POSs, man. Texas is a state of POS. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all what. Texas, I can't believe y'all going through this right now. Like, I can't, like, we have to figure something better out. Because y'all, y'all wanted this, Republicans. Then y'all said the baby at whatever time is a baby. I don't know what video this is. I don't know why they, it's got to be something stupid from Texas. Anyway. Yeah, it's just a shame that, like, uh, this woman has to go through that. But she's right. There's two people in the car. Then the cop. Tries to justify him pulling her, her over and giving her the ticket saying, no, the law states it has to be two people outside the body. What does that mean? How does, how do I get outside? Like, do I, I have to be born outside of my mom before I'm deemed a person? I mean, that's what the, that's what the whole argument is over. Like, is the baby considered a baby or a person or a human life at what time and i think we got to go really in depth with this i think we have to have some more people sit down and do this we shouldn't just have politicians there has to be someone to mediate and they have to come to a number like when is a baby considered a baby because now they're trying to make child support legal like if child support if you can get me for child support while the baby's in the womb, I could I should be able to drive in the HOV lane, okay? Now, also, I should be able to file taxes on this kid. You know what I'm saying? At that point. You know what I'm saying? Hey, also, y'all owe a lot of people some stimulus checks if this is a baby. I mean, if this baby is a person, we owe some people some stimulus checks. Like, this, that's just what it is. You know, oh, shout out to everybody that's going to get their 2022 stimulus check, y'all. If y'all make a little bit of money, y'all going to be in the honey, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, also, man, hey, this lady is proving a point. You you got to be on, you got to find a spot and pick it. And if you want to, if you want to be pro-life and anti-abortion, but you don't want to consider it when the it's laws say. Papa Murphy's. And now God damn, I let me just get out of this. Let me just get off of this thing. Close it out. Close it out all the way. Jesus Christ. Close it out. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah, basically, if, if we got to look at it the whole way, we got to basically call it what it is. But at the same time, we need to meet a middle ground, say how many weeks is what, and let them negotiate and come to an agreement. Because taking away a woman's rights, like, 
all the rights. Like, put it like this. There's a good Andrew Schultz joke out there that's saying, you know, when you get to heaven and you have to pay for those sins, God saying, uh, you know, um, you know, all those abortions, you know, you pay for, you know, you all those murders, you know, and then as a man, we're like, oh, yeah, now you got to pay for your sins, baby. You gotta pay. Anyway, just watch the joke. Shit's hilarious. But anyway, we ain't got to pay for them sins in the, in the long run. Men don't have to do anything. So why are men taking a hit for this right now? I don't know. I don't know why men are in this discussion. I don't know why Christianity is in this discussion. Because Christianity has a, a lot of loopholes in it as well. So... You know, I just say mind your own business because y'all got to look at it the whole way. If you ain't going to, if you're going to consider it an abortion, you got to consider it in the little things. Like, abortion is extreme. This, as far as a person being an HOV lane, is not extreme. So, how can you not claim it in something that's not extreme? I don't know. I don't understand it. You can't claim, these people are not claiming that the life is a life when it's not extreme it has to be extreme that's what republicans want they want extreme consequences they don't want you know moderate shit like when they go do things they do things extreme january 6 was extreme okay trump is extreme hey and when the republicans gave all that money to fucking uh the afghans a bunch of years ago they went extreme okay there you go Everyday people, man, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.